Ugh, the jet lag is just gonna be so crazy. Literally refuse to tolerate people who complain about jet lag. You're going on a glamorous vacation and you're gonna be like, oh my god, like jet lag. No, I'll gladly take your ticket, girl. I'll gladly take your ticket. Anyway, hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Whoa, I have a lot of energy today. I have some green tea, haven't even finished it. Woo! The moon and sun are in Aries. We're getting our things done. Okay, we are getting it done. Do I need to zoom you out a little bit? My hair. Okay. I'm bringing this frantic energy. Let's center ourselves, okay? We need a deeper side part. There we go. There she is. Okay. Today we're going to be doing a video about my little accessories capsule that I'm bringing to Europe. I am going to Europe in three or four days. I'm going to Stockholm to visit my best friend Bernadette. I can't even, I can't even say that without smiling. I have not seen her in almost two years. I could literally cry. She is just my sister. She is everything to me. Um, and then we're going to Portugal, <laughs> Lisbon. So uh, I want to bring a capsule of accessories. I'm trying to pack light because I know I want to leave some room to bring stuff back and also just I end up traveling and I bring so many things that I don't even end up wearing. So I want to show you a capsule. I haven't figured out what I'm going to wear like my capsule wardrobe for clothes but I do know my accessories. So let's get started. I am not usually a jewelry girl. If you guys watch my videos I'm usually very casual. I'm not accessorized. But recently, I've been having fun with jewelry, and it's making me a little more open to my own femininity. It's making me feel empowered. As a Leo, wearing gold is, you know, it's one of our strength medals. It's one of our um, materials that gives us strength and lets us, it, it, it encourages that Leo energy. So it makes me actually feel strong to adorn myself. These earrings that I'm wearing are by Ana Luisa New York. And they are beautiful freshwater pearl earrings. They are called the freshwater pearl earring cloud. I absolutely love these and I don't usually love dangly earrings. I think I like these because they're just short enough. They don't look like chandelier earrings. And I love that they pop against my dark hair. The gold sort of does, but the, the pearls really pop against my dark hair, like the white of the pearls, which I really like. So they make a statement without being too big or flashy. And they, I also love them because they kind of look like the little ghost from Pac-Man. Or I think what they're supposed to be is a cloud with raindrops. And I love that. I love rainy weather and gloominess. I really do. So they're very me. And uh, I think they're so beautiful. I've been wearing them a lot on my Instagram if you follow me which you should, you would see I wore them out last night to a bar. I just, they just dress up an outfit. I just cannot wait to wear them with like a simple white button up with like a black bra peeking through when I'm in Portugal, just having my coffee and eventually maybe eating some linguiça. And then this necklace, oh my gosh. I absolutely love the look of layered necklaces, but I'm not, I'm just not that good at it. And sometimes when they come in sets, I don't like all the necklaces and I don't want to waste by buying the set. So this is just a classic, uh, like Mother Mary pendant, solid gold that I got in Mexico a few years back. And I almost always wear her, but this is the small ball chain necklace by Ana Luisa. And let me get closer. It's so dainty, but I think it looks stunning layered and it's the perfect length. It's not a choker, but it's not, way down here because I usually don't wear jewelry way down here. I think it's so gorgeous. So as you can see, it has these little, little dainty balls <laughs> along the chain. And I love the look of layered dainty chains because this one is obviously clearly dainty as well. I don't know. I just feel so beautiful wearing gold jewelry and I feel like, uh, like a Moroccan princess or something. I don't know. I love dainty layered jewelry. It just makes me feel so beautiful. So those are my two pieces from Ana Luisa and I want to say thank you to Ana Luisa for sponsoring this video. Reaching out to me and wanting to partner up with me on my channel. Just so special. Again, I just get so excited working with brands that make beautiful products and just so exciting. Ana Luisa make a lot of solid gold jewelry as well because I'm sensitive so I love that they have that um, that option and they also make silver jewelry, gold plated, they have so many different options. So if you guys use the code GFRAN10, you can get $10 off of your Ana Luisa order. So go check them out and uh, let me know if you pick anything up and let me know what you think of my It's just like a little Pac-Man dude. I love him. Ugh, okay, moving on. 
I am really not bringing much jewelry because I know I know myself and I know that I don't really change out my jewelry a lot so this is what it's gonna be these are gonna be my statement earrings or when I have an outfit that's pretty basic like black tank this totally dresses it up like look how plain plain that looks without all the jewelry right and then boom it's a look it's a look bada bing bada boom okay so my other earring option for daytime or just something that's not so statement are my little i think these are the boyfriend hoops these are not from anna luisa um they're my solid gold little little bitty hoops and i wear them in every other video mostly so if it's just my classic little hoop they kind of hug the earlobe they're not you know hoops that have space between the ears so i'm definitely going to bring those because they're just easy and i like how they look plus i have a lot of actually other piercings that kind of make my ear look a little more exciting so i don't mind if if this one is pretty standard okay so oh and then i'm also going to be wearing my constellation stack ring oh and check out my cool star nails just for you guys this is also solid gold and this ring is not from Anna Luisa. I will put all the info for the other jewelry below. Do not worry about that. Now, the next part of the packing is kind of difficult because I'm going to Stockholm, which right now it's like 30 something degrees, and then Portugal, which is gonna be in the 70s. So it's a little bit of a challenge. I'm trying not to overpack, but I wanna make sure I'm warm enough because I'm one of those people that gets cold all the time. And I'm gonna leave most of that to my wardrobe, like sweaters and layering. But I will definitely be bringing my Louis Vuitton Pashmina. This is like in a beautiful blush color. And I think it's actually so nice. I usually wear neutrals, but I think it's so nice to have um, something nice and light by my face. And I, I love that the, the Vuitton print isn't too crazy. Like it's not that showy. It's a little bit showy. You know, I'm a Leo. We got to do it. But look at that, I'm a European queen. But I love that it makes my hair color pop instead of making me look all dark. It just lightens my face and it's perfect for spring. And then for some fun days, I'm definitely gonna be bringing this little neck scarf that I got from Madewell a little while ago. It's actually like a New York print, but it has all the different neighborhoods, uh, Bronx, Soho, Chelsea, Brooklyn, just little illustrations. And I like to fold up my neck scarves and tie them. Actually, I wore this in uh, my audition tips video, audition anxiety. So I like to do that, or you can wear them as a little as a little headband up here. That is actually cute as hell. And you can also wear them as a little square in the front. I haven't shopped for this trip. I haven't bought new clothes. I don't feel the need to. My friends aren't like judgmental and weird about clothing and I have cute clothes, but accessories do help you change your look. I think I'm also gonna bring my leopard. This one is from J. Crew. Same thing, I can put it in my hair, I can put it on my bag, whatever. It's just gonna make some outfits pop. I'm gonna bring these little hand, they're not quite gloves, um, but they are from Club Monaco. I got them a long time ago when I lived in Boston, I think. And they're just like this, and they keep your hands warm, but you can still text and grab things. And as long as I can put my hands in my pockets and my pea coat, I should be fine. It's 30s, 40s in Sweden, so it's not like I'm gonna get frostbite. Bringing my belt by Sandro. This is just a studded black belt with a gold buckle. And I love to wear this again when I have my really basic outfits, like, you know, a button down and black jeans. I like to put this with the black jeans to just kind of break up the outfit and add a little bit of edginess. Now I can't decide. I guess I'm gonna wear I guess I'm gonna bring a beanie. Yeah, I guess, right? Or does it look weird with my hair length? I think a beanie kind of looks weird. Ah or I could bring my earmuffs. Maybe I'll bring my earmuffs. Is that too cold? Is that gonna be too cold and stop or like too warm in Stockholm to wear earmuffs? Maybe. Maybe I don't need like a hat hat. I do think I want to bring my beret though. Yeah, I think I will bring my beret. This isn't perfect, but I like this. I know we're going to be taking photos, so I want to be cute. I'll bring my raspberry beret. And uh, as long as it's not windy, I think this should be appropriate for both uh, Sweden and Portugal. It can come off my head when it's windy, but look! Oh my god, and now that my hair is long, I love color against my hair. The contrast, oh my gosh. 
This is just to dye with the earrings to dye. And see, I'm not even shopping for anything new. I got this from Poshmark. This is an express hat, but I got it off Poshmark. And this is from Nordstrom. I think it's by Halogen. As far as bags go, I'm going to be bringing, I've decided, ah! Well, I should probably bring a going out bag as well. I haven't decided. I'm definitely going to be wearing this Vince bag. It holds enough, but it's not too big, and it has a long strap, or I can hold it close to my body if we're walking to the city, because I'm real paranoid. I'm like, do not grab my bag, do not reach into my bag. And it zips up, so it's kind of a bucket bag, but it does zip. I love this. I got it from Poshmark. I am... Never parting with it. Um, and yeah, I was thinking of bringing my Chanel quilted bag, which is so beautiful and I'll feel so European, but I just get paranoid. I think having designer goods like this when you're traveling, it's a little loud. It's a little bit like, I don't know. I don't want people to like see the Chanel bag and target me. I don't know. I'm, I'm very paranoid of city life because when I lived in Boston, uh, I was not robbed, but someone stole my wallet out of my backpack. That's why I never wear backpacks, um, especially when traveling. Someone reached in and took my wallet. And so I've always been paranoid now of theft in cities. And I just think to having, you know, having designer goods, wearing them all the time or keeping them in the Airbnb, keeping them in the hotel when it's so prized to me and so special, uh, I, I don't want to put her in any danger. Mwah. We're gonna take the Vince. My favorite Target tote bag has basically died. So for my travel bag, I know it's not stylish and whatever. Well, just cause it's Marc Jacobs, but I mean, Michael Kors. I'm gonna bring my Michael Kors studded tote bag. I have had this for forever. I really think my mom got this for me as like a quinceanera pro um, gift. So that means I've had it for almost 10 years. And honestly, she is, she's alive, she's thriving. She's a fantastic quality bag, and I'm comfortable traveling with her. I'm a tote girl when it comes to traveling, so definitely going to bring her along. I have a little white crossbody bag by Longchamp that I bought at a thrift store like seven years ago, and it's, it's white leather, and it's really cute, and I think I might bring that as well because I like to bring smaller things when we go out um, just because if we're dancing, it's kind of annoying to have a big bag. So I think I'm going to bring my Longchamp, but it's in the car, and I'm lazy, so it's just a white crossbody bag, you know. I am gonna bring my Ray-Ban Wayfarers. I feel like, first of all, Scandinavians, I always see the cool girls wearing Wayfarers, maybe. Maybe not, maybe I'm done. But also, compared to my other glasses, these do block the sun. Like, these are intense, you know? I can drive comfortably in these, I can be, the sun can be blaring in my face. Blaring, is that only used for sonic capacities? I don't know, anyway, the sun can be blazing into my retinas and I'm all good. So I know they're not like the most unique, the most stylish. I used to have Gucci ones. I had Balenciaga bl black ones, but these just actually work. I feel like Ray-Bans are just tried and true actual sun protection. And then I think I'm gonna bring these. Maybe. I think they're cute, right? Tell me if you think it's a waste of space to bring these, but I think they're really cute. Like for photos, if I'm wearing a black dress, imagine like I'm giving you a Dolce Vita time like imagine me like in the no I have to bring these like in the neighborhoods of Lisbon with all the beautiful houses in the background like living my best life I have to bring these these are from Nordstrom Rack they're by Guess and then I think oh, I know it's a lot of sunglasses but I'm not bringing so much jewelry so these are my I, sorry I keep touching my hair it's just I'm enjoying it being long and I keep touching it like an annoying person with long hair these are my vintage Chloe sunglasses. They were kind of refurbished. The lenses have been replaced, but they're freaking gorgeous. And I feel like these also jazz up an outfit. Plus I want photos taken in them. Is this too much? No, I'm giving you a 70s moment. It's a moment. Like oh, that, okay, that's kind of a lot, but with the, no, if it were just, oh, just the little tie in the front, <gasps> giving you a moment oh my gosh <sighs> okay all right so that's what I'm bringing to Europe besides my little crossbody bag that I didn't get to show you I hope you guys enjoyed this video again don't forget to use the code gfriend10 for $10 off your Ana Luisa purchase of jewelry and treat yourself honestly I feel so bomb I feel like I want to expose my collarbone and serve and just 
don't you want to touch my pearls? I don't know. It just makes me, I'm so sick on myself, honestly. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll talk to you soon. I love you very much, and I'm going to keep you updated, especially on my Instagram, of all my adventures in Europe. So, hope you guys get to travel soon. Hope you have luck in planning your trips. I'm wishing you all of the best financial deals. Love you guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know your favorite accessory, um, and maybe like a fun way to wear it that I wouldn't think of. Love you guys so much. Talk to you later. Mwah! Bye, guys.